Hello, today I have a very exciting video. Hopefully it's exciting to you. It's exciting for me because I love this stuff. But um, today I'm going to finally put the final touches on my home. So as you know, we've moved into this place about, is it a month or two months ago now? I don't know, but pretty recently. And if you look around, you'll notice it's kind of a blank canvas. It's white and black and gray basically, and it's quite cold feeling. And that's because we don't have any personal touches or color, things like photo frames with memories and vases with flowers and plants and art. Any pops of color or warmth are totally missing and that is what we're gonna do today. This is the last part of the journey. In my opinion, it's the most fun, but it's also one that I am not the best at. So today I am gonna be joined by my interior designer whose name is Peggy Bells and she is a French interior designer that is based here in Hong Kong and Paris and she worked with me from the ground up of this apartment. Not, not the apartment building, but my specific apartment. She helped with the design of everything. I love her because you can really see her characteristics and things she does. Like you can tell when something's a Peggy Bells thing. I just, I just love her vision and um, her style of decor is exactly what I love and what I wanted to do here. So I hope to learn more today about interior design and I want to take you guys along with me so you can see her favorite places to shop both offline and online as well as how she does it and maybe any tips or tricks she wants to share with us along the way. Natalie? Yeah. Oh, where are you? Are you excited for today? No. Do you like home decoration? Do no. you say no? no. Really? <laughs> oh my god, I love it. No, I definitely want pops of color. Oh. We're gonna go blues, like a like your hat oh, basically, yeah, 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 yeah. and maybe some yellow. My, my hat is in the pop. It of is. Color. It, it is. You've got some neutrals and pops of color. You represent my house. Okay, we're excited. Don't listen to her. We're excited. We're <laughs> doing this. We're gonna make my house amazing. Let's Yay! Go. Spend money. Spend money. I love to spend. <laughs> okay, I spend money. But it's gonna be investment pieces that last forever. I'm gonna learn how to do it properly. But I thought you were just going to buy like fast and stuff. Yeah, but vases that are like classic. Because I'm going with a French woman. It's going to be très chic and classy. The Horizon Plaza, they have like pot pottery barn kind of. <laughs> <laughs> You're, we're going to three places. Get out of here. What? What? What three places? <laughs> three. Where? I don't know. We're going to find out. Keep watching. Right now we're on the way to Horizon Plaza which is our first stop and the place that we're meeting Peggy at and Horizon Plaza is a converted factory building which has 25 floors of over a hundred shops of all kinds of different furniture shops. Natalie didn't realize this because she thought we were going to a shopping mall but it's actually not a shopping mall it's one of the coolest furniture shops here in Hong Kong so you're excited now right? Yes. We're all on board. Peggy Bells, I'm an interior designer. I've been working in Hong Kong um, for more than 10 years and before in Paris. For your dining table. Oh my really god. Really. <gasps> Those are beautiful. Yeah. Look at the end of the bed. Oh, okay. It would be nice, yeah. If you're okay to stay with the navy blue uh, for. Yeah, I was thinking to do navy blue in the bedroom and then yellow in the guest bedroom, maybe? Yes, could be as well, yeah. So the first thing you decide is what color you want to do, though, yeah. when you're adding the final touches. Yes. The, the color is the first For, for thing. your place, we know that we want some uh, blue, uh, from blue and yellow, that's the uh, color we are looking for, and navy blue is, uh, 
it's always very elegant in, uh, in, your, yeah. in the place. For yeah. the cushion, I like to put like a four cush white cushion with a duvet cover in white yeah. and just uh, two strong colors on top of it. And you could also add one more in between. Okay. So we could buy like a two of these, one of these, and this one for the bed. Is there any way to predict the next decorating trends and do trends come and go like fashion? If you go to the fair, yeah, there's some uh, big fair in Paris and in Milan. If you go to the fair, you can see the, the next, big, trend. next trend. Uh, but uh, basically, the, it's almost the same for a few years. So it's a lot of velvet, marble, uh, brass. So do you get inspiration from any specific place? From yeah, I, like, I like to go to Paris to the, to the big fair. There's two per here as well and uh, in, in the press. And Most Pinterest, right? I see you on Pinterest. Pinterest sometimes. as well, yeah. Uh, Pinterest and all the press from uh, everywhere in the world. I read like um, uh, like interior, magazines and interior, stuff. Interiors press, yeah. Oh, okay, so you keep up to date and yes. checking what's yeah. trending and what's yeah, new. Yeah. Do you follow the trends or do you stick? Because I noticed when I found you. There is a specific characteristic that you can tell, like, oh, that's Peggy Bells. I like to use metal as well. I like a lot, lot of metal in my place. So it's not something I really, is that a trend or I follow, it's something I really like uh, for a few years. Yeah, and if you match it with some, uh, like, a nice, elegant uh, texture, it looks uh, look much more elegant. So it's not too much industrial. And the cement is also not something like a, like a trend, but I like to use this kind of pattern on the wall because it's very warm, it's warm as well, and uh, it's a, it adds something to the flat. Yeah, I noticed that with ours. It's not really exact it's cement it's looking. It's really complicated There's to do, texture. but uh, yes, it uh, really had something. Uh, it gives character to the place. So. Yeah, I know that some people uh, think that it's not finished, but it's, uh, yeah, it's what to we, be are, honest, we are looking for. We were confused at first, and we weren't sure if we liked it. But then, the more you look at it, and like when you actually live in the home, and you feel the every feelings. Wall, every wall is different, and every wall has a different. Uh, um, Pattern, so it's what we are looking yeah. for. Yeah, and that's what we're looking for today in home pieces too. Things that are unique exactly, and yeah. different. And, and all this stuff are unmade, so you can find even if you have two of them, they are all like a bit different, different. colors. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we are looking at uh, walnut color uh, stuff, uh, American walnut, to put on your marble because uh, you will uh, brighten up a bit the marble. Mm -hmm. So I would choose like a this kind of darker walnut. They could have done that. Good match. <laughs> Continue. What were you doing? Okay. Maybe this Did one you what? find something? Um, Nothing happened. You, can you were looking at these and said, <laughs> I want to buy one for my check home. The it's enough or not. I just want to document this moment because uh, you're now a believer. I changed you. We're not done yet. Let's see. There's no marble here, but we can try to put it on a white, on a white, on the white coffee table or aisle on top. It would be very nice. And you just, what do you, type of stuff would you put in these? Even nothing. I like it, uh, to keep it clean as well. And you can also use it when you come back, okay, to put your, uh, so your key. For example, if you put it on the island, you could be on the side and use it as a, um, as a everyday. That's very Japanese too, because they have a container for everything. Like when you pay with your card, for yeah. example, there's a little thing there for it. When you come back, you always have some stuff to put on the table and it would be, it would be nice to have um, this kind of container. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so this one would be super nice yeah, as well. Yeah. 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 Super heavy. Yeah. Be perfect. What do you think is the most important part of the home? Like, if you have to invest your money in one area, would it be the lighting, the bathtub, the couch, the kitchen? The uh, kitchen. Yeah, the kitchen. I like to. I like. To, I love to have an open kitchen, open on the living room, and I like to make it a part of the living. So usually, it's a very sleek look. I never show a fridge. Oh, That's why I you hate my fridge. Always, always hide the fridge, but the built-in fridge, built-in furniture, and uh, with a nice, nice top, always in stone, in natural stone. Okay. For me, the most important part. Of Kitchen. That. And, and the terrace or the rooftop, yes. That's something important as well, yeah. Mm. That makes sense because that's actually where you spend the most time, and when people come okay, over, yes. that's yeah. where you gather. After everything is important as well, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> this one would be really nice on the countertop as well. Okay. To put some fruits. Uh huh. Not to use for every day, you could put it out sometime, bring it inside. Okay, yeah. and when you do that, do you need one specific color? Like, I see the Kardashians saying, for yeah. example, just putting lemons because they want yes, to pop a yellow. Only one color, yes. Don't put tons of fruit yes. in the colors. Yeah. Uh -huh. Of course, it's more practical to put a few fruits, but yes, <laughs> like a just lemon would be nice. Okay, would be, this collection would be very nice for the bathroom with a bit of yeah. brass on the, um, on the edge as well. Oh my god, look at that. And there's a box which matches well. 
So this one with the box, yeah. Would be nice for the bathroom or your, yeah. or your makeup table, yeah. These lights are so cool. So I really like this shop because it's uh, a bit more special in the building. Um, they have a nice mix of walnut and velvet and uh, brass. Yeah. This actually looks like what my husband loves. Perfect. It looks a little bit vintage. Yeah. Okay, a little I, bit 60s, 70s. I love, I love to use this one. What would you say is your favorite online shops for homeware that deliver internationally? Uh, for plates, first, uh, there is one nice shop in Paris uh, that can deliver to Hong Kong very quickly, uh, which is uh, 3 Sevens Paris. They have some very nice uh, ceramics, all is unmade, all made in Paris, and um, that's beautiful and very, very elegant cut. For um, candles, I use a shop. Uh, in Paris, um, a French shop uh, which delivered to Hong Kong in uh, a few days and uh, it's very convenient, which is uh, premièreavenue.com. Mm. Kind of, and the smell is so nice, and they have like a kind of metal boxes. And they have like a. Um, we're kidding about the potpourri last time, but they have some super nice uh, mm. it, because it's like a black stone. Oh. which smells really good. You like um, the white company? For the, all the bed sheets, uh, because it's quite complicated to find some nice bed sheets and in the big size in Hong Kong. Classic white, I like to always white okay. with a bit of piping, so very simple, um, but the, the, the materials are very nice. For lighting, I like to use um, Bert Frank from UK or Gong from UK. Nice, okay. Thank you very much. They have a lot of nice wood pieces. It's a nice Ooh, tip. Nice, yeah. And you would see this one and the other one as well. Oh, I want to take a picture of this. This is really cute. So the whole point of today is mixing high and low, right? Yep. This is our highest point. Nope. Uh, yeah, let's hit the microphone. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> and then we're gonna go to H and M Home, okay. and you're gonna teach us how to make something look really good on a budget. Yes. How to add and in H&M some H&M key points. you can really make something nice uh, with a few stuff. Yeah. You mentioned they have some amazing vases that look really Vases, expensive. Vases, yeah, cushions, straws, uh, yeah, and accessories. Yeah, plenty. Looking forward to that. Because when I go to things like H and M Home or Zara. I just look at whatever's in the window and I buy all those items and redo it in my home because I don't know how to piece things together. And then I get sick of it because it's too much at once and yeah. then I want something new. So finding those key items I'm that sure really you work, to shop in H &M, yeah. show me how to shop in H&M. But I prefer much more H&M than Zara for, for, you for prefer home. For oh. home yeah. I got a ton of questions on how you can make a small space look big. Yeah, Any so tips? I do a lot of space in Hong Kong because yeah, Hong Kong is not a big flat, but uh, so I work on a 300 square feet, uh, 350 square feet flat. Yep. Usually to make it like a like a one bedroom flat. Mm -hmm. uh, try to open the bedroom and the living uh, like a sliding window or like a kind of a atelier window, like a, like That's a, what you did for your place. guest room. Yeah, you really I, don't like walls. You I like at least sliding. And I did the light. The light can go in the can uh, circulate in the flat, and uh, it makes when you arrive it makes the full uh, living much bigger. Mm -hmm. So you can use it uh, sofa and bed are facing each other and makes the full space much bigger. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's open kitchen, so everything is open together. Uh, yeah, so uh, to open the space the maximum, uh, then I don't use too many like, uh, furniture, I try to uh, uh, more about accessories, so one nice sofa coffee table and uh, always use a rug to mark the space, mark so the one space. rug for the, for the living always. What about any storage tips, because in Hong Kong it's hard to find storage. So always make the bed with the storage under. This yeah. one, uh, it really works well, it's a huge uh, space for storage, it's 2 meters by 160, so you can put uh, suitcases, suitcases. Uh, bed sheets, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. so.
made it to our last stop. Oh, it's so empty. Yeah, it's it so, not anybody in the shop. So that's good. Even so if you do dinner at night, you set up the table with a, a great with a great um, the great place that you bought and you put uh, like ah. a few different height of this one with the black gorgeous. candles, it's been very nice. Black candles. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, this one uh, either this one or this one box will work very well for your place. These days I really like it. This one is nice. It's pretty. How much is yeah. this one? Two hundred. I really like the dusty pink color. The Your decor is very masculine as well, so I wouldn't be afraid to use some uh, pink tone in the guest room. Mm -hmm. So you could put two like that on the white bed sheet, so four pillows white and two uh, of this one in front. Pink. This and one the nice. blanket would be pink too? Mm, let's see what we can find. We could even mix with a grey one, it could work as well. Another Natalie purchase. She got something else. I'm that um, budget kind of like interior. It's nice. I also love, and these are really cute. For well, the pink uh, colors in the guest room, I will put this one as a set like this. Like really nice. That's really nice. That's a big one, small one. Uh, That's really nice. Okay, I'm sold because of this. <laughs> I like that. And, uh, they have the nice they have black face. Indeed. So this one are more like a handmade. This, but the price is uh, for normal price. This is very cheap. This one is much more expensive for HM. This is only 30, 30 Hong Kong dollars. Okay, this one. These bowls are cute too. Yeah. They're heavy too. So everything is grey, and you have this one and a white one, and the two cushion is look good, yeah. But not, not this thing, so try to hide this part, the dark one, you just show the light one. Just setting up the things that we got, that I brought home with me. Did you get something? I'm gonna make your space nice too. This one's for Rosie. Do you like it? Is it good one? Oh, it's good. Yeah. <laughs>